question, but um, I'm so um, glad the Gimli Film Festival exists. It's been a f for min much more than 10 years uh, now, is the lifespan of the festival. It's been a powerful figment of my imagination. I started showing movies on bed sheets draped over volleyball nets in the um, 80s. Um, it was always great watching Marlena Dietrich's face in Crest of the Fish Flies. <laughs> and, and it was sort of my dream for somebody maybe to get away from the fish flies, to put um, some kind of screen out in the lake. Maybe I, I didn't quite think it through the way the organizers of the festival, the way Jorn Gustafsson did perhaps with the scaffolding. I thought maybe on a raft. And I pictured uh, a screen bobbing in a storm, and that it would constantly be going in and out of focus, so the projectionist would always have to ride the focus and keep it in as the raft sort of drifted away and came back. And I don't know. I didn't know. I don't. I I have uh, these daydreams and very little else usually. But um, anyway, what, um, one year it actually just came. To be the film festival started and had this incredible venue, and I've been lucky enough to go to film festivals all over the world. And I, I have to say, and it's not just because it's uh, my uh, summer home and where I was conceived and all that stuff, but it's <laughs> the venue, the beach steam venue, is actually the most charming one in the world. Uh, I know Locarno uh, has an outdoor screen, and Telluride, Colorado does as well, but it doesn't have, it's not set in a lake, it's just set in a little valley, and it's picturesque, and there are, there are no mosquitoes, there's no fish flies. There's, there's the, um, my favorite thing about watching outdoors in Gimli is that you're always aware of your environment. You get to see a thunderstorm, um, or boats going off, or people will set off fireworks from their boats behind the screen and you'll see it through the screen. <laughs> or every now and then a car, just curious about what's playing, will drive up and casting every, everybody in their lawn chairs' heads into shadow <laughs> on the screen and then sort of wash out entirely and then turn the corner. And But that just makes it better. <laughs> it really does. I've never believed that you should be totally lost in a film and forget that you're, you know, forget your limbs and all that stuff. It's, it's, it's just, it should be the total experience, and that's what makes live events and being out rather than just watching, you know, on an on, on an iPhone or something. You know, it's so much so much better. So that is just the most incredible venue. And there have been some nights that have been really enchanting. Uh, the first time I watched one of my own movies there was Tales from the Gimli Hospital. Yeah. And I've never seen that much fog in Gimli, but that night it was like the art department rolled out. And there was a full moon, and there was no wind, and the fog just hung there, and I was just so uh, pleased. So I'm very proud of the Gimli Film Festival, and it really is, a, is, a, is, a, is an event that's not only tremendous already, but has so much incredible potential. Um, to just grow over the years into a, into whatever it really sets its uh, sets its sights on being. So it's it's pretty tremendous. So I'm uh, really honored. So that's enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, my mom, thanks. I thank my mom. And, uh, good night. Congratulations. Well, you can all pick up your uh, free print of Guy's Cottage as you exit the elevator. <laughs> or you can give them back to the uh, gift shop downstairs. <laughs> they go on for five bucks each next week. Not framed, though. <laughs>